would like to introduce my team. We are RNB squad from Indonesia. The member of this team are Shian Ananda Majid and Razan Muhammad Zaki. We are from Junior High School 6, Surabaya, Indonesia. We are now 12 years old and in the first grade year of Junior High School. In this competition, we are in Cowspace League for U19. We started to know robotics science. We were in fourth grade of elementary school through the extracurricular activity at our school. Our experience in robotics. We are member of robotics club at our school science in elementary school until now in our secondary school. We both have participated in national robotics competition in Indonesia and we won some of them for category mass solving, transporter robot, underwater robot, line follower, drone, either solo or as a team. The RCAP IG Japan 2021 is our second international robotics competition experience. This year, on May, we won the second place for RCAP Tianjin China for Cospace Autonomous First Steps U19 category. Due to the condition of pandemic, the competition was held online. All of this competition are really priceless experience to us. From our preliminary challenge last week, an elimination round before we were announced to be the finalists, we can summarize it as follows. Our mission is programming the robot to complete the map from the start point to the finish point, reaching all the specified waypoints as fast as we can. We can see the map in this picture. The red line is our pathway in the preliminary challenge last week. We chose the shortest and fastest path to get to the destination, while we still could reach all the waypoints. We were avoiding too many turning paths to save the time. After deciding which path we'll choose, then we start programming the robot. The result we had after applying the method was satisfying. The robot followed the line faster and smoother, reaching all five waypoints and finished all tasks. We had average time 34 seconds to complete the map in the preliminary challenge. It can be concluded that for this challenge by using C programs to coding the line tracking program, it was more effectively controlling the robot. Thus, as it will run properly as planned. Now we want to have some analysis about the challenge task. Our mission is to navigate an autonomous car in the virtual smart city and pass the multiple waypoints before reaching the final destination as fast as possible. We must find the shortest path and effective program to save the time. The mission can be broken down into some mini tasks. Number 1. Following the line Number 2. Detect color marker on the map Number 3. Find shortcuts and go through them Number 4. Reaching every waypoint And number 5. Going to the finish line This is the AI algorithm in the AI panel to complete the task Detecting waypoints Using the RGB color sensor to detect the yellow marker Turn on intersection number 1 Using IR sensors to turn right. Turn on intersection number 2. Using IR sensors to turn left. Shortcut line tracking. Using the RGB color sensor to detect the yellow marker so it can change the line tracking according to the shortcut line. Normal line tracking. Using the RGB color sensor to detect the cyan marker so it can change the line tracking back to normal. Shortcut 1. Using the RGB color sensor to detect the purple marker so the robot turns right to the shortcut line. Shortcut 2. Using the RGB color sensor to detect the line magenta marker so the robot can turn left to the shortcut line. Shortcut 3. Using the RGB color sensor to detect the pastel marker so it can turn right and do a shortcut. Tools and resources. To make it easier for us to program our code, we use a programming application called Notepad++. After coding, we can simply copy and paste the course to the Codespace AI panel. 
Here is the diagram we can describe each time starting the program. As we have the map from RCAP committee and download it, we start opening the map then opening the AI panel. Then we code the line tracking program with Notepad++ then we put it in the AI panel. After that, we code the C program for the waypoints and modify the RGB color sensors to detect the color of the waypoint line. After the previous program has been well coded, then we continue to program the turns, using markers to make shortcuts or do some specific turns in the intersection, etc. While running the program, sometimes we encounter some problems we need to solve. As we seen in this picture, the robot unstable and sometimes fail turning in too many twists and turns paths. In the next picture, the robot is overshoot a turn. For problem number 1, we reduce the speed of the robot from 180 to 80 and 60, so the robot can turn without going out of the line. For problem number 2, we modify the speed and the duration so the robot doesn't overshoot the turn. We change the speed from minus 25 and 90 to minus 15 and 76. We also change the duration from 27 to 21. For the implementation, we will illustrate in this video. Here is the shortcut to save the time. And the result is, we finish the challenge in 34 seconds. RCAP 2031 teaches us how to study programming language in a very excited and more simple way. RCAP 2031 gives precious experience for us by having competition in the international environment. The challenge teaches us to be more patient while doing programming, more general skill, and analyzing skill. Thank you to RCAP IT Japan for this valuable chance. Thank you to all our trainers, our schools, our families. Hope we can join another RCAP event in some other time. Until we meet again, bye bye!